Welcome to the Lottery West Symphony of the City for 2017, a West Australian Symphony Orchestra concert supported proudly by the City of Perth. My name's Guy Noble, it's great to be back as your conductor and host here at the amazing Langley Park with the West Australian Symphony Orchestra. And we have an entirely new and revised uh, menu for you uh, this year, and I'm just going to tell you some of the specials on offer. Uh, we're going to begin with the overture to Deflater Mouse, music by Strauss. Very light, light, fluffy, a little bit of champagne through it, very beautiful piece of music. And after that is a complete contrast. We have Zadok the Priest, which was the coronation anthem uh, when Queen Elizabeth II was coronated uh, back in 1954, that wonderful music. And I have to say that's very light Baroque music, so only about 870 kilojoules, very low fat very good for you. After that we have the Adagio from Spartacus, romantic wonderful music, and then we have some more uh, Baroque music, the Bach Double Violin Concerto featuring Lawrence Jackson, who's the leader of the orchestra, and Zach Roundtree, who leads the second violins of the orchestra. The second violins are almost as good as the first, but they play beautifully together. It's like two birds sort of looping through the air, and that's very high in Omega 3. You're going to be so much more intelligent having heard that. Of course, we have to do music of Star Wars. The whole new film's just out in the franchise. We have the Duel of the Fates, and also we have the main title of Star Wars with some spectacular fireworks. And of course, speaking of fireworks, we have the 1812 Overture. What would Symphony of the City be without the 1812? Overture. But more than that, no expense has been spared. We even have one of the most expensive singers, and that's a tenor, the most expensive singer of all the voice types. And happen he just happens to be walking right past, and he happens to have a microphone. I just happen to be walking past with exactly. my microphone. This is Paul O'Neill, and he's our special tenor. Now you're a special tenor, it sounds yeah, funny, very doesn't it? special. Uh, now, Paul, is this your first time in Langley Park? Absolutely or? not. I've done right. uh, once or twice before here, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward. As being a Perth boy, I'm, I'm happy to be back because I've, I've been away in Europe. Yeah, what have you been uh, yeah. doing? Singing, obviously. I've been doing some singing. I went to London to, to seek my fortune, uh, and then I went to, to Germany to actually find it. And now, <laughs> I'm, now I'm back to, to come and sing. With your fortune. With my fortune. What yeah. are you going to be singing? We're going to be doing, uh, well, this is the first time actually we'll, I've actually sung Grenada, which is a, oh, a wonderful yeah. song. I've, I've been looking forward to very singing Spanish. this for a long time. Very yeah. Spanish. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be doing, I'm sure you've heard it before, the Nessendorma. Oh, that is the best piece for tenors. And audiences just get goosebumps every time Ab they hear that. Absolutely. And I've heard you in rehearsal. Yeah. And it's going to be good. It's going to be, well, I'm, I'm hoping so. Uh, but it should be great. And I've sung it lots of times before, so it's, it's always a, a good piece Should to get be. it right. <laughs> That's all we can hope for. Absolutely. Fantastic, Paul. Will you go and get ready? Thank you, Maestro. Wonderful. We'll see you soon. See you later. And uh, thanks to Lottery West, of course, that means we have our regional broadcasts in Albany. If you're watching there, Kalgoorlie and Margaret River. Uh, uh, right across community resource centres across WA and of course just up the road at the Perth Cultural Centre. If you're watching up there, hello to you, although you're obviously too lazy to come down the road and be here. <laughs> Not to you, but enjoy it up there anyway. Our show starts at half past seven and of course if you want to look at the program, the entire program, look at the uh, Wazo website and also if you want to join the conversation, hashtag on Twitter is Wazo SITC17, Wazo Symphony in the City 17. That's what we're doing tonight, a new and improved menu. I better go and get my chef's hat on so we can cook up a musical storm. Have a wonderful show. Please welcome conductor Guy Noble and your West Australian Symphony Orchestra and Chorus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Symphony in the City episode 11. How exciting is that? You look gorgeous this evening. And it's, you can sit down, guys, it's all done. Uh, I would have stood up the whole night. Uh, my name's Guy Noble, as you just heard, and it's so wonderful to be back uh, again. And thanks to Lottery West. Uh, and of course, if you're watching in Albany or uh, Kalgoorlie or Margaret River, hello to you. And if you're up in the Cultural Centre, just up the road, wonderful to see you here this evening. We've got fantastic music this evening. At the end of episode 10, it was a bit of a cliffhanger last year. Uh, would the orchestra be eaten by white walkers or iced by a dragon? But they're back, your wonderful West Australian Symphony Orchestra. Here they are. We have all your favourites. We have Paul O'Neill, a magnificent tenor. He'll be doing Ness and Dorma later on, which is the most wonderful aria. We have the 1812 Overture. We have a big surprise after that, but let's begin the evening with the Fledermaus Overture by Strauss.
Thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And, uh, and I didn't mention them before, which is very remiss of me, but of course we also have the West Australian Symphony Orchestra Chorus with us tonight. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there you are, stand up the back, aren't they gorgeous? And it's just as well I mention them because they're going to feature in our next piece. We're going to go back to Baroque times now uh, for a piece that was, has been played at every English coronation since about 1728, I think, when it was written. That was George II. So the current queen uh, heard this music as she was being anointed uh, in, the, in the recesses of Westminster Abbey. And this is the most sort of sacred moment. Uh, if you watch uh, The Crown on Netflix, you'll know the moment I'm talking about in that wonderful series. Yes, that's right. That's terribly wonderful, just like that. Um, and uh, actually at home, my partner and I, we actually play the Queen and Winston. It's a new game. Yes, Winston, what do you think about it? Well, yes, of course, Your Majesty. You should try it. Great fun. Um, even if you're a Republican, it's great fun. Um, so this is wonderful coronation music. It's by Handel, and it features the orchestra uh, in this wonderful, long, uh, almost processional that leads to the great chorus of Zadok the Priest.
wonderful sound of the West Australian Symphony Orchestra Chorus. We're just going to call it Wazo, otherwise we'll be here all night. Yeah. Um, and I haven't welcomed our leader uh, this evening, Lawrence Jackson. There he is, sitting right there. Um, we're moving around in all sorts of different music. And our next piece is by Kachachurian, uh, and it's uh, called the Adagio from Spartacus and Phrygia. This is a, oh, the Adagio of Spartacus and Phrygia. It's from a ballet about Spartacus, who was the original uh, Russell Crowe gladiator character. That's where it all came from later on when Russell did his film. And Spartacus, of course, led a, a giant uprising of slaves um, against the Roman Empire. And at a wonderful point in the ballet, he is reunited with his wife, whose name is Phrygia. But she's, well, she's not at all frigid at all. We listen to this music. It's, um, it's incredibly passionate. I think you have a sort of an idea of what they might be getting up to later on in the piece. But this music by Kachaturian.
I thought the police were coming to get us for public indecency a moment ago. With those sirens. We're going to go to America now and this fantastic more ballet music. This is a hoedown from a ballet called The Rodeo by Erin Copeland, a really famous American composer. And you can hear it's just like being outdoors at, at a big sort of barn dance, pretty much like tonight, really. Um, but please, if you get up and dance, just don't trample the young ones. Here we go. This next piece is completely different. We're going back to the Baroque, and it's a real treat. And it's going to feature two of our wonderful string players in the orchestra, Lawrence Jackson, who's our leader I mentioned before, and the leader of the second violin, Zach Roundtree. The second violins are, well, they're almost as good as the first. They, <laughs> they sit here, but it's nice that Zach gets a chance to get up and show his stuff, and it's pretty good stuff. And this is the, the Bach double violin concerto. It's the slow movement of it, and it's such beautiful music and particularly suited for a night like this. It's like two sort of, well maybe it's an early morning really with two karawongs sort of just floating around each other in the morning still air. And this beautiful music of Bach features just the strings and continuo and our two soloists. 
The other really good thing about it is, and I said to Lawrence, you know, would you like to direct it? Because there's nothing more useless than having a conductor waving his arms or her arms where these two players can actually direct it all themselves. So I'm just going to go off and have a couple of beers over there and, uh, and leave these two. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence Jackson, Zach Roundtree and the Bach Double Violin Concerto.
Watson and just beautiful. Thanks you too. And uh, you may not know it, but uh, the West Australian Symphony is turning 90 next year. They don't look at do it at all. I mean, quite sprightly for 90, uh, but there'll be a number of concerts celebrating that, particular concert called Favourites um, in February of next year with Wazo. And uh, that'll also feature Zadok the Priest that we sang before with the Wazo Chorus. So but the wonderful sounds of Bach brought to you by Lawrence and uh, Zach. Well, now we're going to go to Spain uh, for something completely different. And we're going to bring a tenor out onto the stage. Don't be frightened, it's all right. We've had this one vetted. <laughs> um, and he's, uh, he's a local boy and he's returned. He's been in Germany for a number of years singing in the opera houses there. And he's come back to Australia and uh, next year he'll be featuring as a Rodolfo, the lead male singer in the big opera on the harbour in Sydney, uh, in La Boheme, which is very exciting. And the opera in the harbour is amazing. If you happen to be there, they actually just swim about in the water singing. <laughs> it's incredible. Very interesting, especially when a ferry goes past. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, to sing Granada, please welcome Paul O'Neill.
It's amazing being a tenor, isn't it? He just gets a big bag of money and goes home now. It's, uh... <laughs> Actually, that's not the case. He's got one more to do. As I mentioned, Nesson Dorma is coming up very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we're going to take you to the world of Star Wars now. Yes. Anyone? Hands up. Who? Like, what's the point of hands up? I can't even see. <laughs> oh, there I can see. Hello. Oh, there you all are. <laughs> Who's seen the new film so far? Oh, 25 people. It's going well with the box office here, isn't it? I'm very excited. Uh, wait to see it? I cannot. Um, it's going to be great. But we're going to do The Duel of the Fates from uh, The Phantom Menace. Oh, we can turn those lights off now. They don't look that good. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. And uh, I think uh, the chorus, this features the chorus. We're going to get them up now. And uh, I'd just like to read you the words that they sing at the very beginning. Kora Mata. Kora Ratama. And I think we can all agree with those sentiments. Thank you. 
Well, we have a little unusual something for you next. Um, a little while ago, there was a, a fundraiser uh, for Starlight Foundation. And the West Australian Symphony Orchestra basically allowed someone to bid for the opportunity uh, for quite a substantial amount of money, a wonderful donation for that wonderful cause, to actually get up tonight and conduct. Um, and so I'm, actually, I'm going to talk to him a little bit about why he's actually done this. Uh, <laughs> but would you please welcome to the stage the winning uh, bidder of that particular prize, Kerry Hermanus. Please welcome him into the stage. Come up to the magical podium area, uh, Kerry. So now listen, you've, oh, you've got your bat on, isn't that wonderful? Did you own one before? No, I didn't. This is my first. It's very exciting. <laughs> and apart from the rehearsal yesterday, um, have you ever conducted before? No, never. No. Um, it's a little bit daunting here. There's wonderful musicians, but I'm looking forward to it as well. Right. Can I just point out that it actually is a, a, a very skilled profession and... <laughs> I don't know why they're laughing. <laughs> Takes years of experience, but you can just get up and do it once. That's great. Okay. So now, what's your what's your profession, Kerry? What do you do? I'm very busily retired. Oh, why? And how did you get the money to pay for this? <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of I don't know. It's kind of like if you got a bit, if you got enough, you spread it around. Well, that's that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I was very happy to help with the Starlight Foundation. I'm, Great the collaboration they're having with the orchestra here and, uh, and uh, give me my first nervous conducting role here. It's very exciting. So we gave you two pieces to choose from. The first was the North Korean National Anthem. <laughs> and the second was Stars and Stripes Forever. That's right. Well, that's a very American one. So uh, adopted as Stars and Stripes Forever, the president's own. That's right, and, and I think we're celebrating what a wonderful job he's doing tonight, Helen. Yes, yes I, I think I'll trump that tonight. Oh. Oh. Sorry, that's an extra $3,000 from you. <laughs> so, um, well, let's just do it then. And uh, yeah. we've had a quick rehearsal. Yes, we've had a quick rehearsal, so... Um, I, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to stand here with you. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. But we're just going to get the tempo, right? So we start it off. Here we go. One, two... Oh. That didn't work. <laughs>
Kerry Hermanus and the West Australian Symphony Orchestra. So, um, mate, how was it out there on the field? Did it go well for you? Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Yeah. You felt pretty confident yeah, about yeah. you. I, I, I did a good job, yeah. yeah. No, I... <laughs> well done. Thanks to Kerry. That's brilliant. <laughs> Encore, yeah, great. Yeah. Kerry's going to be back and doing the 1812, yeah. <laughs> um, one of the greatest tenor arias ever written comes from another Puccini opera, uh, from Turandot. Uh, and the, the English words are, none shall sleep, no one shall sleep, uh, as a riddle is meant to be worked out, but the Italian words are, nessun dorma. And to sing it, please welcome back Paul O'Neill. Neil. Well, I can't believe it already we've got to the wonderful 1812 Overture, which is this extraordinary musical representation of uh, the big battle between the French and the Russians in 1812, where the French almost sort of won, actually, but they found them so far into Russian territory they couldn't uh, supply their lines, and so ultimately it was a defeat for them. And you can hear it in all the wonderful music. You hear the Marseillaise, the French, and you hear the wonderful um, 
the, 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 the hymn, the prayer of uh, the Russians in this wonderful music by Tchaikovsky. And of course at the end there might be a couple of firecrackers that will go off, so, um, or maybe some sparklers. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, shall we do it? Okay, girding your loins there, Lawrence. By the way, this is the last, uh, this is the last gig for the orchestra of the year, so you can sort of feel the excitement up here. You can smell the freedom. Um, <laughs> they don't have to play notes for about six weeks. It's a big business being an orchestral musician, but they've all got smiles on their faces. Look at that. Well, they won't in a moment when we're doing this piece. Here we go.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Wazo Chorus. And the West Australian Symphony Orchestra. And please welcome back our tenor, Paul O'Neill. Well, I don't know if you want any more. Well, fantastic. Are you gonna, you're gonna go, are you? Yeah, we might have just one more up our sleeve. Uh, just before uh, we finish, we'd just like to say thank you so much to Lottery West, to the city of Perth, um, and uh, of course to this wonderful orchestra. Um, in fact, one of, their, one of their members is leaving tonight after 30 plus years with the orchestra. Jacek Slavomirski. Jacek, stand up, there you go. Bon voyage, and that's a lot of concerts to play, so well done. Um, well, we happen to have one little piece. Uh, it's not very well known, but um, you might know it when we play. But thank you so much for coming tonight, and have a fantastic Christmas and a safe travel home and a wonderful New Year. So it's good evening from us, and this little ditty we're going to play you. 